Hi everyone, welcome to another sketchpad tutorial. This is Ajit for Distress Studios and today I'm gonna show you how to use custom blocks in Sketchware. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new project. I'll name it something like com dot dot oops I spelled it wrong. It doesn't matter, let it be blocks. Same here, something like that here too. Same here. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is drag a button. Oh wait, let me just explain what custom blocks are used for. The custom blocks are used if you want to execute a set of instructions repeatedly we can group it in a manner that we can name it and call it when we need so i'm gonna i'm just gonna show you a simple tutorial so we're gonna have a text view and an edit text let the button be in the middle of this so what i'm gonna do is we type something in the edit text and when we click the button the same text will appear in the text view we can we can actually do it without using custom blocks but we can use custom blocks as this tutorial is about using custom blocks so move to the logic section and click on button one click and then click more block and make a block i'm gonna name that set text or something like that and we're gonna pass this string str add string okay click save now we have a new custom block here I'm just gonna place that there and click back no before that we're gonna get the text from the edit text and pass it to that function we'll get that text from edit text <coughs> and then you can see that there's a new function here it's called define function I mean they're telling us to define a function the function name is the one we have given to the function I mean the custom block so you can see that it gives you a string you can drag it and use it whenever you want so I'm gonna use the built-in function set text to set the text of the text view so that we are now using a custom function I mean a custom block and click run Okay. So I'm gonna type in something maybe random and when you click the button you can say the same text in the text view as well. So let's add some more things to our function. We can set the text color to something of the text view gray and now you can do all these functions I mean set instructions in the function so you're not gonna mess this part up and in case if you have two buttons for two different text views you can use the same function for both of them so let's try running this one So I'm gonna type in something and click the button. You can say that the color of the text view has changed. And that's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.